Oh my god, not again, Brad Tragics, it's back again. Oh my god, Brad Tragics. Holy shit. Alright. Sorry, I don't want to name drop my own self in uh, my videos. Uh, sorry, let me get it out there. If you haven't looked me up online, please do, because I'm trying to get my name like spread out there. Anything. That's why I do these videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do really do love wrestling. I like talking, so. Yeah, let's get right back, right into uh, the SmackDown review thing. Holy shit, right on the roster. You got all these people who I don't give a shit about the women's division. Yeah, we'll just skip over the women's division is a joke. Any of the women's wrestlers, I'm gonna skip over because they basically need to get them back on track. Um, I will talk about one person who I see right now that I'll talk about though. Um, and like I said, I don't know a lot of these guys, so I'll just talk about what I would like to see in 2012. And maybe I'll start, maybe my new resolution is, I will watch, one of my new resolutions is, resolution is that maybe I will start watching more SmackDown and try and give them more views. Maybe? Hmm, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. The Big Show. Well, I don't know, like I said, I don't watch SmackDown very much. I don't know what he's been doing in the first half of 2011, but had a few with Alberto Del Rio, had a few with... The only tag team champions I think were Kane beginning of 2011, I think, somewhere around there. Um, and at the end here, won the world championship, had the shortest reign in WWE history. Well, that's what they're calling it. I don't know if it's true or not. It could be. I think it is. Um, I thought nine seconds was a lot shorter. Didn't Yoko Zuna hold it for nine seconds? It could be wrong. Anyway, but yeah, Big Show, uh, okay, I'd like to see some more Big Show this year, um, you know, they keep talking about Triple H retirement and everything, I mean, how long are the Big Show's going to hold on for, you know, I know he'll, he'll probably be able to you know, stay around for a while, uh, but, but I mean, uh, I don't know, he'll probably be doing something, I can see him doing something, uh, this year, hopefully, maybe a world title ring, uh, finally, uh, this year, um, I could see maybe, uh, doing, like, a whole crying thing at WrestleMania, him winning the championship, uh, possibly, um, maybe having a run with, you know, having a big, big match at Mania with Dana Bryan. You know, I, I kind of thought about it originally and thought it wasn't going to be a good idea, but now that I think about it, it actually probably would be a great idea because they could play off of both of them, you know, like him not being the champion for almost nine years, or, is that what it, what it was, nine years? Yeah, nine years. Had him been a world champion, you know, breaking his back, trying to get back to that point again. Um, and then you got Dana Brown on the other hand, who is a new world champion, who doesn't want to lose it because he likes, you know, you know, he he respects the world championship and he wants to be known as the best wrestler in the WWE. That's why he wants to hold that belt so that he can prove that and blah blah. blah. And they can really do some stuff with that. So I don't know. Uh, Booker T is he gonna wrestle anymore? I don't, I don't think he is. I think he's done uh, basically wrestling. You know, he may do a few matches here and there. This is like Jerry Lawler does nowadays. Um, you know, I think maybe that he's kind of priming up maybe to take uh, Lawler's spot. But we may see Booker T end up back on Raw as a permanent you know, later on down the road. Uh, who knows? Uh, Christian, well, when he gets back from being injured in 2012, hopefully they'll start pushing him more. Maybe they'll revamp his character. or make him a coward. Maybe put him back in the uh, Captain Charisma thing he was doing uh, before. Cody Rhodes, he will be main eventing in 2012. Guaranteed. fucking did. If he ain't, that'd be his joke. Uh, he should have the Intercontinental Championship probably about six months into probably, um, or most of 2012. He should have the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, and then probably, hopefully, he will get a main event spot, or at least get a run at the World Championship uh, heading into 2000, at the end of 2012. Daniel Bryan, holy God, what a guy everybody's been talking about. Uh, Daniel Bryan, without a doubt. Um, definitely has been a lot talking about him. Um, don't really know what to say about the guy much, but 
I will say this is that I think we will see good things come of him, but the way he was booked was really, really horrible. Um, but I really do think that, you know, down the road, that he will be a good champion if they decide they do want to push him. Um, but I just see him being uh, an odd world champion and probably won't ever be champion again. He may have, you know, he may be a two, three run champion and he'll be done in a couple of years. I, I, and I know all the hype around him that people think, you know, oh, well, he's a really good ROH. But listen, folks, what's the history on that? What's the history on ROH guys and, you know, other guys that, that come in from other organizations? And I know, you know, they don't really look at ROH as being, you know, an organization because they're not big. They're nothing. So they don't really, like, they don't really give me shit for that. But, I mean, if somebody's really big somewhere else, more than likely they go to WWE or they go anywhere else, they're not going to be big there. It's basically just what it is. What it is, what it is. You know, if he went to TNA, it might be different. But this is WWE we're talking about. They're talking about entertainment. They're doing all this stuff. You know, it's really hard to get over in WWE. It seems like, it. you know, if you've been good in ROH and you know you're a really wrestler, it's not the type of guy that usually gets over in the WWE. So, like I said, I'm not trying to bash on Daniel Bryan, but I just really do not think that he will be a legitimate player in the WWE in years to come. But who knows? It may be maybe surprise. Maybe WWE's going to change its way. You know, uh, Drew McIntyre. Well, we started to get a storyline here at the end of uh, 2011, so maybe he'll uh, get a run. Let's see some more Drew McIntyre in 2012. Come on. Uh, I like that. It would be heavy. Ezekiel Jackson. Hey, we're just talking about him. Sort of. That's where the feud's going, so maybe we got a Drew McIntyre and Ezekiel Jackson feud going on. I would think that'd be kind of an odd pairing for a feud, but uh, yeah, anybody, I guess. I don't, much to think of, don't know what to think of Ezekiel Jackson. I haven't seen him wrestle, really. I've seen him once. Uh, they need to put him on Raw or uh, get him out there. A lot of wrestlers, they just need to circulate. Get him on Raw. I mean, they have the same guy. So if it's really a super show, then you could throw on like a six man tag and put like a Drew McIntyre, Heath Slater, Justin Gabriel, and all these guys that the Tyler Rex, you know, put them in six man tags or some shit. You don't have to give them a singles match. It's like. They don't think they can give a tag match like like an eight man tag, you know, and put like Epico, Primo, Unico, Camancho, who the hell, put them in eight man tag and put them against wrestlers you never see, you know, do that. You know, hell, open the freaking raw with like an eight man tag, you know, do it, just do it, Nike. Okay, um, Heat Slater, don't know who the guy is. Haven't seen him wrestle. I like the scene. Put him on TV. I'll watch him. Uh, Hornswoggle. Wow, this guy's still here. Uh, I really don't want to see him in 2012, but uh, I guess more entertaining moments from Hornswoggle in 2012. My prediction. That's all he's there for. Anyway, we can go. Take team belts. What's he there for? It's always going to be there for. This is basically one of and it, some of these guys, you know, they come in. I mean, you know what they're going to use for tag team belts. All they're going to get, you know, uh, they may have some good matches. You know, who knows? They may be better than what you think. But you never know with these guys. And WWE usually don't give them a chance. So he's one of those guys. I'm thinking he's one of those guys. Uh, I know he's more talented than what he is, what he act like, because I believe this is Homicide. You could be wrong, but I believe this is Homicide from TNA. And I know he's really, really talented, so hopefully Hunico will actually go on to do stuff other than being a tag team champion, hopefully. Uh, Jay and Jimmy Uso uh, heard great things about this tag team. Uh, I can cover these guys real quick because uh, they're really great, and I really think that they probably will be tag team champions. Uh, since Epico and Primo are the only ones, both of those tag teams will probably be tag team champions this year at some point in 2012. Uh, trying to get those belts off of Evan Bourne and Kofi Kingston and pushing them on to other things. Uh, I can I'll, I'll kind of almost see Evan Bourne being turned heel, and then uh, Kofi having a feud with them, feuds like that. Uh, Jinder Mahal, uh, they're starting to push him, because uh, they're probably going to end up pushing him uh, into uh, something. Uh, looks like they're pushing him with Ted DiBiase right now, so it'd be a pretty good feud to see that. Johnny Curtis, no idea who this guy is. I guess maybe get him on TV, maybe I'll know who the hell he is. 
Uh, Josh, oh God, Josh Matthews. Okay, well, if you want this guy to live much longer, you won't be having bad mouth big show uh, in the backstage area. I've seen that. I'm like, is he stupid? Who would, like, piss off Andre the Giant? You think Mean Gene would have said something retarded to Andre the Giant back in the day? No, because Andre would have slapped the shit out of him. You dummy, don't say that shit the Big Show. What the hell's wrong with you? Justin Gabriel, let's see more of you in 2012. Uh, I haven't watched SmackDown, but hell, I'll watch SmackDown. Let's put these guys on TV. Let me, let me see him wrestle. Let me see some new wrestlers. Oh, women. Lillian Garcia. The return of Lillian Garcia this year. Yay! Who fucking cares? You got demoted when he came back. <laughs> I guess it didn't seem right. Put you back on Raw. That guy's been busting his ass. I guess being really out to so. She probably don't care. Mark Henry. Wow. Alright, well. It took you 15 years, WWE, but you finally got the world title strap on Mark Henry. Was it worth it? Just wonder. Was the investment worth it? That's a, that's a long haul. All the characters he's been through, sexual chocolate. This is funny, him hearing him chant sexual chocolate. To this day, they still... And that's what I'm saying, writers! Don't fuck with us. We know the history. Damn it. Don't fuck with us. Don't try and put a heel turn on some chick and then forget about it. They did that like I think three or four times this year where they have somebody do a heel turn or they have somebody do something on Raw or SmackDown and then they're like, oh, we'll, we'll just do something next week and they won't remember it. Yes, we're like an elephant. We remember everything. We're wrestling fans. Anyway. Uh, but finally, he's got a world palace shot. Good job, Mark Henry. I would honestly say that Mark Henry probably hasn't had the best year. Uh, in the 2011, having a great run as a world champion, got to be wrestler of the year. He should have won Slammy Award, seriously. Maybe next year. Matt Stryker. Uh, I guess this guy's done with wrestling. Uh, you know, like I said, he's really a short, short, short guy. So, he's like Taz. So, you know, he's probably not going to get back in the ring again. I think he's doing with uh, Next, uh, doing the thing with that, being a professor there, doing something like that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Randy Orton. Oh, God. Just have him put over guys in 2012. Please don't have him win every time. And please don't put him in programs for like six months at a time with the same guy. And then turn around and have like two title matches with that guy on that show. Stupid. Uh, Raging Saint, whoever the hell that guy is. Guess let me see him on SmackDown. Let me daily with him next year. Uh, Seamus, 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 where Anus? I don't know what. Uh, who's that? Oh, okay. Seamus, awesome. Yeah, what the hell happened to this guy? I missed the whole heel like run as Seamus, but I like the like face guy. Uh, pretty good. Um, push him. Main eventer, 2012, guaranteed. He's got to be. They don't. Then he he won't be in the WWE long. He'll get pissed off and leave, and then TNA will get him. And they won't know what the fuck to do with him, so please do something with him. <laughs> He'll be the great white, good great white freaking jobber in TNA, probably. Yay! Let's throw a jobber for a piss! Yeah, no, no, please. Let's do something with him, WWE plug. Sin Cara. Well, Triple H's project's not coming out very well, that's all I gotta say. Uh, Please send this guy back to Mexico or do something. I don't know. I don't think TNA wants him probably either. They're probably like, oh god, don't do that. Shit, fuck no. Brian Kendrick's getting injured wrestling with this mofo. Send him back to Mexico. We don't want him in 2012. We'll probably get him. Probably get a him. Guarantee you we'll get a Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara match in 2012. A feud, probably. Yeah. Ted DiBiase. Hmm. <sighs> well, I tell you, I thought they would have did something with this guy by now, but they really dropped the ball on this guy too. Uh, so hopefully he is a better push in 2012. Uh, that's all I can say about that. Uh, Great Kali. Well, wow, well, ah, this guy went from being a huge main eventer, world champion, especially a jobber now. 
I'm sure my prediction is we'll probably see a Zack Ryder win over Great Kali this year. I don't understand Ryder's retarded. Anyway. Theodore Long. Okay, well, we'll come back to Theodore Long at the end of this review. Yeah, we will. Tony Jungle. Yeah. Who's that guy? Yeah, anyway. And he's a ring announcer. Trent Beretta. Yeah, I heard good things about him. Um, so I hope I see more of him on SmackDown this year so I can see him. And I'll tell you what I think of him when I do see him. Uh, Yoshitatsu, hope I see him uh, more. Uh, but I believe I thought he was done. I don't know why he's still on the roster here, but uh, sure, if he's still on the roster, I'd like to see him some more this year. Um, Tyson Kidd, uh, with random sighting on Raw this past week. Uh, why was he on TV? But hey, hey I'm not going to bash him because I just said, why don't they do that more? So maybe they'll start doing that more when in 2012. Um, I don't think he's going to really go anywhere. I know he's a, <clears throat> he's a nephew of a <sighs> little of somebody in the Hart family, but uh, or friends with him or something, but I don't really think he'll go anywhere. Uh, I'm skipping over some people. Uh, Wade Barrett, def, got he's gonna have to go somewhere, and I he's gonna be the main he's gonna be the main event after having that big problem with Randy Orton. I think he's probably gonna be pushed into a match with probably uh, Daniel Bryan at the Royal Rumble, possibly. Uh, that'd be pretty interesting. Um, I think it probably will come to that, but more likely he'll be in a match with uh, Sheamus, Rumble, or he with him. Uh, until Mania, and, uh, we have a good match, like a Street Fighter or something at Mania. Um, Undertaker. Well, if he's almost coming back, uh, it's almost WrestleMania, he probably will show up on, uh, Raw. Um, you know, I don't know if it's going to be because of the story, or the, the big net, if he's going to have something to do with that, or, uh, just basically the further storyline, whether he'll, he's going to face Triple H again for the third time. Or something. Who knows? I, I, I think the streak should be done this year. Whether it's going to be 20 and 0, or they're going to make somebody beat him. Let somebody beat him. Put somebody big over. I mean, they're going to have to pick the right guy. Put over. I uh, want to do that. Um, and then William Regal. Uh, yeah, doesn't seem a long time. I mean, he's working a little bit, but let's keep more of that. We don't need to see him either. I think he's about done with wrestling. This has been your SmackDown uh, review. I do want to talk about Theodore Long. They need to get a new GM for SmackDown. Holy crap, this guy's been the longest reigning GM in history, I think. It's getting really annoying. Oh, that's a player? What? Dude, that was like back in like 95 or something like, or like early 2000, it was okay. And it was getting everything at that point, his third year in. And I think we're done with it. Can we please get a new GM? Just, I don't want to say put Vicky back there, but, but dude, I don't even know who to put there. Who would you put there? Great Khali? Raging Sea? Gold Dust, that's it. Let's put Gold Dust. Somebody, please, John! But Mick Foley, that'd be awesome. Anyway, well, this has been your, you know what it is, the future of SmackDown does as well. Thank you. Coming in. Yay! No smoking on the airplane.